Hey everybody, it's Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. Today we are making a big pot of cowboy beans. Uh, cowboy beans is a, a popular dish in the American Southwest. Uh, it's really just a, a big pot of, of beans that are cooked down with lots of seasonings and spices, um, barbecue sauce and um, ground beef and bacon. Uh, pinto beans are really traditional with this, so you can use other beans. I'm using kidney beans and um, some broad beans or some uh, um, you know, just delicious collection of beans. Um, it's super popular for barbecuing and side dishes, summer grilling. Um, it's really amazing. And uh, I would compare it a lot to kind of like a, a cross between a chili and a barbecue. So uh, you know, it, it would be like a, a pot of barbecued chili. If I added some tomato sauce to this, I might be able to serve it off as, a, as kind of a sweet chili. But uh, it's super delicious, real popular, and uh, we love it around here. It's great for gatherings and such. So uh, let me show you how I make mine. All right, let's make some cowboy beans. I've got all of my ingredients all set up here, and I've got a good sized pot heated up to a good medium heat. So first things first, we will add our bacon. I have uh, here about a half pound of bacon, all chopped up. And uh, you're gonna cook it down for a good five to six minutes to uh, get it nice and crisp up, and then we'll drain it and continue. All right, the bacon is crisped up nicely here, so the next thing we need to do is remove the bacon and set it onto uh, some paper towels and let it drain a bit here. So let me get this moved over. All right, I got the bacon here. I'm gonna set this aside for now. And you can drain out some of the, the uh, grease if you want to. I'll just leave it in. Um, so go ahead and add, uh, here I have about a medium-sized onion chopped up. And I've got a couple of small, uh, medium-sized jalapeno peppers chopped. So get those added to the pan. Get a nice stir. And you're going to cook it down for about five minutes uh, to soften them up. And then uh, we will continue. All right, peppers and onions are cooking down here. So next we're gonna add a one pound of, of ground beef. Get that set in and break it up. And uh, we're gonna cook the ground beef for another five minutes just to get it all browned through. You don't have to cook it all the way through because that's gonna, we're gonna keep cooking it. Um, but yeah, just get a nice brown on it. All right, the ground beef is nicely browned up here. So next we're going to add, uh, this is a, about a, three or four cloves of garlic minced up. And we're gonna cook this in about 30 seconds to a minute until you can smell the amazing, gorgeous garlic bloom. Very delicious. You can use more garlic if you want to. I mean, garlic's awesome. Oh yeah, smelling it already. All right, so next we add a quarter cup of barbecue sauce. And here, you're free to use your favorites. You can use a homemade version um, or use pretty much whatever you want to. Um, any kind of good sweet barbecue sauce is delicious. And I have a quarter cup of ketchup. Get that placed in there. Get a good mix. And here I got a couple tablespoons of a spicy brown mustard. I love, love mustard. And again, you can add a little more if you want to. Delicious. And I have some molasses, a couple tablespoons here. And you can use honey is good, even uh, maple syrup is good. Get that good sweetness going. And we have a couple tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Set that in. And brown sugar, got about a quarter cup of brown sugar. That's gonna add some extra sweetness to it, enhance the barbecue flavor. Amazingly delicious. And also we have a, uh, this is about a tablespoon of uh, chili powder. You can use your favorite, uh, this is just an American blend. Um, but you can use like ancho or uh, guajillo or, or mixture of. So uh, chili powder, gonna add some good flavor. So get everything mixed in together here. And you can simmer this a little while if you want to, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add the beans and uh, yeah, here's my bacon, you got your reserved bacon. So go ahead and add this back to the pot. And we have lots of beans here, so here I have a can of pork and beans. You can find pork and beans in the store. And uh, just really good stuff. Used to eat that a lot as a kid. And we have our large beans. Now I've got two cans here of kidney beans. And pinto beans are really great for this too. They're usually traditional. And butter beans, two cans of butter beans. So just 
set those into your pot. Make a noise. All right, mix it all together, my friends. Get everything nicely mixed. Here. All right, nicely mixed up here. And the last thing we need here is to adjust with salt and pepper. So just put as much, uh, you know, to your personal tastes for salt and pepper. Love black pepper, yum. And hot sauce, hot sauce to taste. This is a homemade habanero blend that I did. So you can add in really as much as you want to. Just depends on who you're cooking for. I'm cooking for me, so I get extra. Nice and spicy. All right, so get everything mixed together, my friends. And uh, the last step then, uh, we're gonna go ahead and bake this at 350 degrees uh, for about an hour, 350 Fahrenheit. And uh, we'll bake it for an hour and it will become an amazing, amazing pot of delicious cowboy beans. So, uh, all right, I shall return. All right, here we go. Cowboy beans fresh out of the oven, nice and hot. Smells amazing in here, my friends. Uh, so yeah, that's it. I mean, making cowboy beans, very easy to do. Just uh, give it a nice stir, kind of mix, uh, get everything nicely mixed in here. Steam is rising. And uh, I mean, this is just such a flavorful dish. Um, it's not, uh, you know, overly spicy, just big, big on flavor. And uh, it's perfect for party situations. So uh, let me give it a taste here really quick. Mmm, yes. Mm, I love cowboy beans. Mmm, so good. Oh yeah, this is, this is amazing. I love cowboy beans. Uh, again, it, it really is, it's a great party food, a great side dish. Um, great for like barbecues. You can bring a big pot of it over to a, a, a gathering and just let everybody chow down. Great for, uh, you know, grilling out. I mean, again, cowboy beans, it's just amazing. Great flavor. Uh, one of my favorite sides. So, uh, so that's it. That's how you make cowboy beans. Uh, I hope you like it. Uh, let me know if you um, have any questions on how to do it. Leave some comments. I'd love to talk about it with you. And uh, again, there's lots of variations and you can check out the website at chilipeppermadness.com for uh, more of a discussion on cowboy beans and where it's from and all that. So, uh, but that's it guys. I hope to see you in my kitchen again next time. I will see you soon. All right, thanks, bye. Mm -hmm.